Hello, Medicare adventurers. Welcome to another step in our Medicare journey together. My name is Chris Tucker, your Medicare guide, and today we are going to go over star ratings. Now, what is a star rating and what does it relate with Medicare? Is it a hotel? No, it is not. But like hotel star ratings, star ratings of a Medicare plan relate to the effectiveness of that plan. And these are ratings that are given by the individuals who are already members of that plan. Okay, so it's not like it's a professional star rating or anything of that nature. Uh, these, again, these star ratings are provided from surveys that are done with the individuals who are actually a part of the plan. Now, how do you know what your, your plan star rating is. Well, when you initially enroll in the Medicare plan, one, the agent should be letting you know about what the star rating of that particular plan is. Uh, there is a star rating page that is in the enrollment guide. And at some point in the guide uh, where you'll see the table of contents under plan ratings, it'll have a page that is something like this okay and you'll notice there's some different things that are going on here so let me go over just a couple of high points on this so that way you're mindful of where these star ratings come from so there's three different parts to it one the medicare ratings include how our members rate our plans services and care the services and care that they receive okay also, the second thing that is rated is how well the doctors detect illness and keep members healthy. All right. And that's done both uh, by, you know, the opinion of the member, but also by the number of visits to the ER or urgent care that the, that the plan has to pay for. There's, there's that algorithm. There's those numbers that they keep track of and that they are gauged by. And then also... The third and final thing, how well our plan helps our members use recommended and safe prescription medications. And so they have an interest in making sure that if you are on any certain medications, that you are well taken care of, that you don't have to worry about uh, the side effects from medications that are unneed, uh, unneedfully dangerous or have stronger side effects to them compared to others, okay? So there will be an overall star rating for the whole plan, and then there are two separate star ratings. Now for a Medicare Advantage plan that has a prescription drug plan associated with it, it will have two different star ratings. One is going to rate the health care services provided, and the other star rating is going to rate the prescription drug plan portion of the plan overall, okay? So just be mindful and aware that those two, that for a Medicare Advantage plan with a prescription drug plan, those two parts of the plan, the medical and the prescription drug, are rated separately, all right? Now, if you're enrolling in a prescription drug plan only, like a standalone prescription drug plan, because you have a Medicare supplement plan, there will be a star rating associated with that prescription drug plan, okay? All right, so what, do, what does one through five even mean? Uh, the things that, the, the, the information I'm gonna go over today with you is gonna go over just generally what you're going to see. Overall, most Medicare Advantage plans and prescription drug plans are going to be in the four star rating range, whether it be 3.5 or 4.5. Somewhere right in that range is about the average that you're going to see. Now, a five-star plan is very rare. So rare, in fact, that a five-star plan has its own special election period. And remember, a special election period is a time when you, as a Medicare adventurer, have the opportunity to switch your plan. If you live in an area with a five-star plan, 
you have the option at any time during the year before no, the end of November, November 30th, you have the option to enroll in that five-star plan. And again, you can do that any time during the year before November 30th, okay? So that is one option for you there. But you might ask, well, what is the other end of that? The other end is if the plan has only a three-star rating for three years in a row, it is then considered an underperforming plan. So this is why you need to also be mindful of the star rating of your current plan. If your current plan is at three stars or below for three years in a row, then you qualify to be able to switch to a different plan that has a higher star rating than that, okay? And you can switch to any plan in your area. It does not have to be the, a five-star plan, which most times, most areas will not have a five-star plan. So let's go over these just briefly again, real quick, and why they're important. Five-star plans, oops, excuse me, five-star plans, although rare, give you an opportunity to be able to enroll any time of the year before December or November, excuse me, before November the 30th. If you've been in a plan that is at a three-star rating for three years in a row or more, you also have a special time to be able to disenroll from that plan and move to a plan that has a higher than a three-star rating in your area. So overall, why is knowing what your star rating of your plan, why is that important? Well you want to be able to know what level of service your particular plan is providing. And the surveys that are provided to random members who are part of that plan provides you insight on what their customer service is like, how well they pay their claims, how good their doctors are, as far as with being able to identify illness and such, and so on and so forth, many other aspects. Although it's not a guarantee that you're going to be in a plan that is amazing if a plan has four stars to it, uh, but it is a good measuring tool to determine the superiority or potential superiority or benefits of one plan, of enrolling in one plan over another. So I hope this helped in explaining why the star rating system is important and what the benefit is to you as a Medicare adventurer is. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment below if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can message me if you see this on Facebook. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever platform you may be on. Uh, be happy to be able to be a blessing to your friends, family, and neighbors. Don't let the Medicare jungle overcome any of your friends and family. Thank you for watching, and until our next adventure, take care.